All right, so you're thinking about purchasing a home gym. Congratulations. I'm gonna tell you today about some things you need to look for and how to avoid inferior products and what do you wanna look for in a really quality gym. So I'm gonna use this as a model today because I think this is a very superior gym, very well built. This is the Body Gear G30 by Hoist. So I'm gonna talk about some of the great features that I like about this gym and how you can compare that to other gyms that you may think about purchasing. So one of the first things you want to do is simply give it a shake test. Give it a good, a really inferior gym is made out of thin gauge metal. And when you shake it, it's going to rock and wobble and, and wobble about. So look for the shake test. Easily can get to the adjustments. They're very easy to adjust for different angles. Just a simple pull pin. And everything jumps very easily. Is there access to the weight stack? Do you have to kind of go around to different positions? If I'm doing the leg extension or leg press over here, I can access the weight stack very easily. And if I'm doing a, a, an exercise in this position, I can just simply reach back and change it without going through much effort. Look at the design of the gym. These contours, such as this type of tubing, is a superior engineering. And that's something that you'll see a mark in a lot of great gyms, a lot of curves, a lot of contours in it. The vinyl is made out of a very high grade vinyl. Cheaper gems are gonna look, it's gonna look good, but the vinyl's gonna crack after a period of time, and over a point, you're gonna have to end up replacing it. These rollers are covered, and they match the rest of the gym. Now let's look a little closer at this particular roller, because I like what they've done with it. Now these rollers are upholstered to match the rest of the gym, but it's bolted on. There's an end cap that's bolted on, Rather than like a lot of gyms will have regular foam end caps that are placed in position, foam rollers that are in place, and there's an end cap that goes on the end, and these tend to wear over time. Again, it's not as aesthetic as what this looks like. I like this. This is gonna hold up for a long period of time, and these are not gonna come off, whereas this one will come off very easily, and you'll end up damaging it or losing it. These are called pillow block bushings. You find those in like aircraft inventory or a lot of high maintenance uh, products that needs to run continuously and it's meant to last a long time. I'm going to show you another gym that I'm working on and refurbishing and I'll show you what's similar but inferior. Let's look at that. So this is the same apparatus, the leg press, but you notice when it pivots it has a bolt that simply goes through. And that bolt has a bushing that's inside of it, but the bushing does not hold up nearly as well as the pillow block bushings on the other gym. Now let's talk for a moment about the feet. This is what supports the gym. There are feet that are supported on different positions, and this is welded on, as opposed to a lot of gyms will have this presentation. It's just an end cap that goes on the gym, and as you can see, this gets lost. It also ends up being damaged, and you end up having to replace it. This is okay, but again, the presentation is not as well and it won't last as long as these. You'll see the end caps on these feet in different locations throughout this gym and that's to give it the real good support that it needs. Now let's talk a little bit about how it functions. One, the adjustments. The gyms should adjust for different sizes of people. Not everybody's the same size. So you should have a gym that's easily adjustable for someone of a different height. So you can easily pull a pin and adjust that height. The leg extension, people are different leg lengths, the legs are different lengths, so you should be able to adjust for a person who's really tall or a person who's very short. This is an adjustment that you don't find in gyms, the one for the upper portion when you're doing leg extensions. So let me adjust for leg extension for me. It will be here, my height is there, and that's good. Very simple. Perfect pivot. If it's too low, I'm gonna show you what it's like in an inferior gym. If it's not adjusted for you, it's basically it's a fixed position. Now you're trying to get yourself in a position to do this and you just feel not comfortable. So you'll find yourself as you do it, the rollers will roll up the leg sometimes as you're doing it or will put too much pressure on the knees. So that's why you wanna have a gym that you can adjust to your particular dimensions. Now if you're gonna do a, leg, a press, you can grab this in position for a press, and it's there. And you basically know where it is because it's like 
a stick shift on a car. You don't look for where it is, you just basically just grab it and go. So you find your adjustment, incline, the angle of the body changed because you're now in an incline position. Simple pivot movement to adjust it back. Here, back. For rolls. You notice how quiet it is. You don't really hear uh, any movement, any of the movement, the, the, the pulleys are quiet. As it moves on the guide rods, it's quiet. A lot of gyms that are not stable and balanced very well, you'll hear a lot of noise when you're using it, when it's functioning. Let's go over to the leg press. Again, this holds you in position. For some reason, when you're doing leg press and you're really grinding them out, you have these. And some gyms do not have a support for your leg press. Oh, the seat back adjust for different positions. So if you want to really get into your leg press, have to really squeeze here and get a lot of contraction, you got a forward seat position. Or if not, you can adjust your seat all the way back. And now you're in position for like leg press or toe press. Just pressing with what the, what's called cat presses or regular leg presses. And this swivels because as you press, the stress in your ankle is minimized because of the contours of the ankle. And that's great to be able to have minimal stress on the ankles as you contour. So you'll like that. When you're doing leg curls, everybody's leg length is different. And you need to be able to adjust this up and down because this should be above the knee and not pressing into the knee. So it gives you protection there. So this is your position. Also, you adjust your press arm out to give you a little support when you're doing leg curls. Okay, so a little recap. One thing I talked about was the vinyl. Make sure you got good vinyl on your gym. The rollers are upholstered, that's a great feature. The end caps are bolted on rather than just the end cap there. I talked about the feet rather than the end caps for your feet, they're welded on feet. The pivot for this is a great feature. Easy access to your weight pin from any position. You're gonna have a very smooth and quiet operation when you're using it. It should be very smooth. The shape test, to make sure you got real heavy gauge material. It shouldn't bind uh, or wobble when you shake it. This should adjust for height. Everything should adjust for different heights of people. So make sure your seat back adjusts. Make sure this adjusts for leg extensions. So those are some things you're gonna look for. Uh, what else was there? Something else I'm thinking about. Uh, well, making sure that these all adjust very easily for different positions. And the, con the design, the very nice contour design. Whenever you see things like this, that shows a superior engineering. Overall, and the pillar block bushings, another one, the pillar block bushings are there. Great gym. Happy hunting. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.